Hi, it's Dave Ranji Das, the electrician, and welcome to this issue of Electrical Tips. Whether you're watching this video on my website, asktheelectrician.com, or YouTube channel, uh, just make sure you understand there's both, YouTube channel and asktheelectrician.com website, where we have a lot of resources for you. And come on by the website and pick up your subscription, free subscription to Home Electrical Wiring Tips, which comes out just about every single week. And also while you're there, make sure to take advantage of our new basic home electrical wiring video that has just been released and it's now available at a discounted price and we'd love to have you take a look at that and you'll have access to that forever for life for all the content. For this issue of Electrical Tips, we're talking about breaker sizes circuit breaker sizes. You have a circuit breaker and it trips. There's a problem on the circuit or it's overloaded and you're wondering, can I increase the circuit breaker size to stop it from tripping? The answer is no. Because if you do, this will overheat the wire and it could cause the wire to actually get hot enough to cause a house fire. That would be an electrical hazard that we don't want to have at your house. The solution is find out why in the world your, your circuit breaker is tripping. If there's a problem, it can be tracked down and it can be resolved and you can make the correction with the wiring or with the device. Or if it's simply overloaded, then we want to install another circuit and that will alleviate the load that's on the existing circuit and then that problem will be solved. Uh, another problem is people go to add a outlet to a wall switch or add an electrical outlet near the wall switch. They open up the wall switch and they see that there's a black wire and a white wire that's attached to the switch. So they think, hey, great, I can go ahead and hook up an outlet to these wires. Well, the problem with that is the white wire is not a neutral wire, which is required for your 120 volt outlet. The white wire in this case is used as a switch loop. So you can't use that for an outlet. If you tried to make it work, you'll discover that it will not work. So in this case, it is because either the power for the circuit is either up in the ceiling for a light fixture or down at a wall outlet. Now, if it's a wall outlet and you have a switch on the wall to control a table lamp or a floor lamp, then yes, the wiring can be changed if you wanted to convert that situation to add a light fixture into that room. The wiring would have to be changed at the wall outlet so that you have a hot and a neutral up at the switch. And then you could wire out of the switch going up to the ceiling and installing your fixture, ceiling fan, whatever the case might be. And speaking of ceiling light fixtures and different light fixtures, I get a lot of questions about people get a light fixture and they go to install it and there's a ground wire on the fixture, but they don't have a ground wire in the light fixture box. What do you do? Well, if it's an older home and it's a metal box, you can test the wiring to see if you actually do have a ground that's been attached to the metal box. In the older homes, what used to happen is they would ground, they would run a ground wire and attach it to a nail or a screw of that metal box on the back side of the box and you wouldn't see it because it didn't get brought into the box. So by performing a simple electrical test, you can see if the box is in fact grounded. If you're doing a remodel job and the back part of the, the wall is open, you could visually see if there actually is a ground wire attached to the mounting hardware of the box. If you don't see a ground wire uh, and you only see two wires in the fixture box, then chances are you don't have a ground wire. So what do you do now? Well, uh, consider getting a hold of an electrician and having them install a ground wire for you. They can inspect your main panel, take a look and make sure the ground wire system is correct. And if it is not, they can bring that up to code and make the corrections for you. So that's it for this edition of Electrical Wiring Tips. Don't forget to come by the website and get your uh, sub free subscription to Electrical Tips, the newsletter that comes out once a week and also take advantage of my basic home electrical wiring video series, which is now available for a very discounted rate. It's yours forever with all the additions that will be added to that. 
and it's all accessible through the internet on your PC or your smartphone. Thanks for coming by, and I'd love to see you at the website.